Now, you were all given a pack of Skittles this morning when you came in. Now, remember, this candy was a gift. You didn't earn it. You didn't make it. It was given to you. Why? Because I love you. And nothing says I love you like Skittles. <laughs> Who doesn't love Skittles, right? Hello. Find the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <clears throat> All right, now keep that video in the back of your mind. Find the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Now I have a little illustration for you today. This is not your typical God said what. <clears throat> However, I'm going to share with you that I think God has something very important to tell us today. There are two types of people represented here. Skittles guy number one. <laughs> Skittles guy number two. The first guy lives by trying to take care of himself. He realizes that his need is great. He gives some of his Skittles to his mortgage. Mortgage. He gives that. Uh, that is true, depending on where you live and what your taxes are. Bills for running that house. Car payment. If he's married, Wife's car payment. It's a Mercedes. If he has kids, responsibilities for those kids. Clothes and food. Entertainment. College. Malone. Shoes. And if Noah's your son, more shoes. I love you, Noah. <laughs> he looks down and he shakes the jar and sees he has nothing left to give God. Let's look at Skittles guy number two. God sees guy number two letting the word become life in his life. Guy number two is holding steadfast to the promises made by God in his word. And he's being obedient. He gives to God tenth. He brings his Skittles to the storehouse. Malachi 3.10 says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord God Almighty. Now guy number two realizes he has need. He pays the mortgage in shaker. Bills. Car payment. His wife's car. Oh, and his kids' cars. Clothes, food, entertainment, and Noah's shoes. And he looks in the jar. And he realizes that it's empty, and he's not sure what to do. All he knows is that he obeyed God. And he looks to God, and he remembers the promise that God gives to us in Malachi. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not pour open the floodgates of heaven that there will not be room enough to contain it. Listen, church, God's Skittle bucket is never empty. 
and it never runs out. God says to test me and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be no room enough to store it. And remember that Skittles commercial? Find the rainbow, taste the rainbow? Psalm 34, 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. God's question to us this morning is, which guy will you be? Will you be the guy to do it on your own? Or the guy who tastes and sees and takes refuge in him? Look at that Skittles package in your hand. My question to you this morning is, what are you going to do with your Skittles? Mother Judy? Judy? 